Philip IAS and welcome back to 10 minute series today our topic for the video is a personality who took active interest in promoting the art and culture of our country after independence who took active interest in the national independence and who was a fierce feminist she is none other than kamla devi chattopadhyay so let's begin In her early life she lost her father at the age of 7 as a result a bringing her became her mother's responsibility and from her she obtained her independent streak how to be an independent woman her mother was also educated as a result young kamla devi developed keen love for the books which continued till the death now she got married at the age of 14 and widowed at the age of 16 even after these incidents she joined queen mary college in madras which in itself is a remarkable thing she did in those days now there she met in her college harindranath chattopadhyay who was the brother of sarojini naidu they both had common interests like passion for art love for music and theater as a result they both got married and widow remarriage even though it was a big taboo that time they both defied it and they got married and after marriage they both performed across india they even experimented with folk theater and kamla devi she even acted in some silent films two films she acted okay then moving forward her contribution for the freedom struggle and feminist cause in 1925 madras provincial elections she became the first woman to contest those elections and she lost just by a margin of votes that is 55 votes she lost then she joined indian national congress in 1927 and within one year she was elected for the post of all india congress committee now there is one remarkable incident for the salt satyagraha mahatma gandhi was of the opinion that women should focus on picketing liquor shops whereas men should go for the salt satyagraha but she convinced gandhi ji ki nahi ye galat hai women should take equal participation in the salt satyagraha to which gandhi ji agreed as a result she became one of the first women to be arrested for civil disobedience in india after that she joined seva dal and she trained women activists now in the those days of 1928 29 that time she emphasized for a uniform civil code jiske liye hum abhi bhi lad rahe hain she emphasized uniform civil code that time to promote gender equality and gender justice now once a reporter asked her what are your views on women empowerment to which she replied let men learn to be equal to women first what a kick reply moving forward she established lady arvin college in 1932 now why did she establish this because she was of the opinion that western system of medicine was actually threatening our traditional and indigenous knowledge which was being passed from generation to generation herbal cures these were getting hampered and getting lost as a result she started with lady arvin college okay moving forward now after independence 1947 ke baad there was a time of partition many people from pakistan came to india and vice versa also so many of the people who came from north west frontier province they were skilled artisans so she developed the town of faridabad and she established settled around 50000 pathans there the town of faridabad i guess many of you would not know this but she is the one who established the town of faridabad near delhi now what is her contribution to art and culture 
now when she got arrested during her civil disobedience movement she learned that peasant women an importance of local products to village economy correct now she founded many institutes which continue to support crafts women for example she established india cooperative union now what is indian cooperative union it was born to from the efforts to resettle refugees theek hai partition ke baad jo refugees aaye the unko resettle karne ka jo task tha wo india cooperative union ne kara ठीक है इट वॉज अ वॉलेंट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और इसका एक एजेंडा क्या था कि इट शुड लिबरेट द सिटीजन फ्रॉम द सोशो इकोनॉमिक कॉस्ट रिस्ट्रेंट्स जिन्होंने उसको बांध रखा था उससे बाहर निकलना है लिबरल हो दैट वॉज द मेन एम ऑफ इंडिया कोऑपरेटिव यूनियन ओके उसके बाद उन्होंने इस्टेब्लिश किया सेंट्रल कॉटेज इंडस्ट्रीज ऑफ कोरिया जिसका लोगो है ये बंदूका हॉर्स Now what is this? मतलब सेंट्रल कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री क्या है ये इस्टेब्लिश हुई थी नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टू में किस लिए टू प्रिजर्व एंड नर्चर द रिच हेरिटेज ऑफ अर कल्चर विच डेट बैक्स टू अबाउट फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो उसको प्रिजर्व करना उसको नर्चर करना एंड उसको इवन दुनिया में बताना कि दिस इज आर कल्चर दैट इज द रोल ऑफ सेंट्रल कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री एम कोरिया और इसमें बहुत फेमस पर्सनालिटीज भी आए हैं फॉर एग्जांपल क्वीन एलिजाबेथ टू ऑफ इंग्लैंड क्वीन फरा ऑफ इराम दे केम इन टू दिस इंडस्ट्री एम्पोरिया ओके उसके बाद क्राफ्ट काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया ये शायद अभी भी आपने सुना होगा आई टेल यू इसका क्या काम होता है क्राफ्ट काउंसिल का टू बिल्ड अ लास्टिंग अवेयरनेस ऑफ द नॉलेज एंड स्किल्स ऑफ इंडिया आर्टिस and to help address their needs which are rapidly changing environment jaise modernization ho gaya hai technologies aa gayi hai to to help them keep in pace with this technological changes there is craft council of india ab uh, if you must have seen amazon promoted this on their website they had special page craft council aur usme unke products the different different artists ke different different areas ke jo local products hai usko promote kiya tha amazon ne लास्ट ईयर या लास्ट टू लास्ट ईयर तो दैट वॉज थ्रू क्राफ्ट काउंसिल उसके बाद ऑल इंडिया हैंडीक्राफ्ट बोर्ड बनाया गया था ये अब नहीं रहा है बट इसका रीजन क्या था बनाने का इट वॉज एस्टैब्लिश एज द ऑफिशियल फोरम वेयर वीवर्स एंड क्राफ्ट पीपल कुड रेज देयर कंसर्न डायरेक्टली टू द एम्पावर्ड पीपल एंड टू एडवाइज द गवर्नमेंट ऑन पॉलिसीज ऑफ स्पेंडिंग ये एम था ऑल इंडिया हैंडीक्राफ्ट बोर्ड का बट ये अब नहीं है बट इन्होंने इस्टेब्लिश किया था उसके बाद क्राफ्ट म्यूजियम इस्टेब्लिश करें ये क्यों इस्टेब्लिश करें सो दैट यंग स्टूडेंट्स चिल्ड्रेन दे डेवलप इंटरेस्ट इन द आर्ट एंड कल्चर ऑफ द कंट्री दिस वॉज द एम ऑफ क्राफ्ट म्यूजियम ओके नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड काशी दिस इज द जयपुरा ब्लू पॉटरी दिस इज टोडा एम्ब्रॉयड्री विच इज फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु दिस टोडा एम्ब्रॉयड्री ओके नाउ दिस इज कलम करी क्राफ्ट कलम करी इज वर्ड डिराइव फ्रॉम कलम करी कलम मीन्स पेन एंड करी इज आर्टिस्टिक वर्क इट इज basically done on the textile and it is used done in andhra pradesh theek hai now these are mahabalipuram sculptures which belong to the pallava dynasty okay now she played an important role in the development and establishment of these two very important institutes called national school of drama and sangeet natak academy now for national school of drama i tell you she i told you that she performed in various places she did silent movies correct now she expressed theater like it is a crusade okay she expressed theater like a crusade 
and she said theater is something which is an open creative playground for all as a result she wanted to promote theater so she established national school of drama okay as well as sangeet natak academy moving forward she wrote number of books correct she wrote inner recesses outer spaces it's her autobiography in which she tells talks in detail about feminism freedom struggle indian craft and her foreign visits now she wrote another book called the glory of indian handicraft in which she talks about detail about the indian handicrafts and the importance and why should we preserve those things this is all she talks in this book she wrote number of other books also for example uncle sam's empire in war torn china these are the other books which she wrote now she received number of awards and recognition also for her work for example government of india honored her with padma bhushan and padma vibhushan both okay in 1966 she also received raman maxse award for community leadership this is the raman maxse award she received this in 66 In 74 she was awarded the title of Ratna Sadasya by the Sangeet Natak Academy which she established and Desi Kotamma by Shanti Niketan Shanti Niketan is Rabindranath Tagore's Also she was applauded by UNESCO UNIMA International Puppetry Organization and World Crafts Council for her fantastic contribution towards the promotion of handicrafts in india and in even world promoting indian handicrafts in the world so i hope you like this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you